Hi everyone. I thought we'd have a little bit of a discussion tonight on the table and cross table of sapphires. So what we're looking at here is a sapphire crystal, otherwise referred to as a dog's tooth crystal, for obvious reasons. This is the cross table, and this is the table or C axis which is the vertical orientation of the crystal. So there's a little bit of confusion when we're talking about tables as it's also referred to as the largest facet on the crown of a sapphire. So while this may be the C axis or table of a sapphire crystal, if I were to cut this sapphire, which I would never do because it's a beautiful specimen, off table and put a big table facet right there, that would be the table facet of the crystal. Now on a star sapphire, the table is the surface on which you see that shine that sheen and often there'll be a flat surface where you can see that sometimes there won't be but you can see there that there's a little a couple of little flat layers where we can see the most sheen that would be the surface on which we would need to cut a star sapphire. Whether that was the, the top or the bottom, it wouldn't matter. That is the C axis. And on most star sapphires, that will go right through to both sides. This gem has quite a lot of uh, green in it too. So it's a little bit of a little bit of a problem with assessment about what you'd do with a gem like this. Would you cut a star? Would you try to cut a green off the end bit, which is quite solid there? And a star? Or would you just keep it as a specimen? It's a beautiful and big piece of rock. And this is what Sapphire Assessment is all about. Deciding about what to do with that gem. Now this is a beautiful 33 carat blue green sapphire. There's no flaws. The table colour is blue. So the table colour is where you get the most intense blue in a blue-green sapphire. The cross table is green. Blue and green. Cross table, table. It's not a party colour sapphire. A party colour sapphire will show at least two different colours on table. This one is 33 carats and I'm not going to cut this one because it will cut very dark. So I'm just going to keep it as a specimen. A beautiful specimen of a rough sapphire. So when you have a blue green sapphire, the table, if you have a lack of crystal sides or faces, then the table will be the direction in which you find the most intense blue. And the cross table, well, you'd hope it would be the lightest green possible. But for this one, it's probably going to cut very dark. But it's a beautiful specimen. 
Now, what about with a yellow sapphire? And this is a really gorgeous yellow sapphire. It doesn't belong to me. I've just borrowed it from a friend for this video. And I may cut it. There's a tiny little bit of blue there. But apart from that, if you had a yellow on yellow sapphire, yellow cross, yellow table, how do you tell where is table? You look for crystal surfaces, crystal sides. And because this one has a tiny little bit of blue green, it would be where the most intense blue was. So I think that that is actually table. And then you have these sort of crystal sides to the sapphire. But I wouldn't cut this one on table. I think uh, more justice to it would be done by a freeform design created exactly for this sapphire. Because it's just too beautiful and such a weird and wonderful shape that I don't think a standard shape or design would bring about the best. It's a really deep yellow, it's beautiful.